Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I want to get real about solo sex, specifically solo sex for people who own vaginas. If that applies to you, or maybe it doesn't apply to you, but you're just curious and you want to understand more about vaginas, which is never a bad thing, then make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't want to be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? So the two most popular videos on this channel for quite a while now have been about masturbation, but specifically their videos about how to masturbate for people who own vaginas. So mainly girls, but also we know that it's not only girls who own vaginas. Non-binary and trans people can have vaginas as well. You're goddamn right. The thing is, we don't really learn how to pleasure a vagina. Vagina is actually part of what's down there. The whole area that you see when you look in the mirror, that's actually called a vulva. So I'm going to start using the word vulva moving forward, but I was using vagina to start because that's the word that most of us know. So your vulva, which is what you see when you look at your genitals in the mirror, your vulva is not something that you learn a lot about in school, in sex education. We know that babies come out of there. We know that periods come out of there and that's pretty much all we learn. Whereas people who have penises just seem to learn a little bit more about the fact that penises can feel really, really good, right? Like we learn about the fact that boys have wet dreams and boys wank and boys ejaculate and boys get boners. We don't learn about any of those things ourselves as girls and vulva owners. A lot of us actually go through life and we go into adulthood not realizing that our genitals can actually make us feel really, really good. A lot of you, I know a lot of you um, that are watching this right now and that have watched those other videos on my channel are quite young and you feel Honestly, the same thing I felt at that age, which is a lot of shame and a lot of embarrassment around wanting to know this information. You want to touch yourself, but you feel wrong. You feel dirty. You feel like you're doing something bad, but you want the information. So you look it up, but you feel really, really bad about it. So first thing I want to do is just tell you that you are so normal. In fact, you're so normal that over 3 million people have watched the videos that I have made on how to masturbate. So trust me, there's at least 3 million of you that are interested in this. You're not some weird loner pervert. We all have these curiosities. And the reason that we have to come to YouTube to look up this information is because we don't get taught it in school and we don't get taught it by our parents. And in fact, a lot of us are taught by our parents or by teachers and older authority figures that actually our genitals are a really dirty place and that we shouldn't touch them and touching them is bad and wrong. And this is a real shame because at some point, most of us are going to go on to have sex, partnered sex, sex with another person. And if you don't even know about what feels good for you in your genitals, sex is going to be very confusing and it could even be uncomfortable or painful and you're not going to know how to communicate with the person you're having sex with about what you do and don't want because you're not going to know that. You need to learn these things first about yourself before you go and share your body with another person. We weirdly actually do teach young people in school about having sex with another person. We, we teach them that that's a thing that, that happens, but we don't teach young people about just touching their own bodies. Now, a really interesting fact, because I know a lot of you come here, one of the questions that you ask is, but am I too young? Like, am I too young to be watching this video? Am I too young to be touching myself? My answer to you is, well, you're not too young to be watching this video because this is only just gonna be a video about your body. This isn't uh, any kind of X-rated content. This isn't anything that would get banned off of YouTube. I'm just gonna be sitting here talking to you just like a friend for this whole video. So there's nothing wrong with the video and there's not an age that's too young to touch your body because it's your own body. Is there an age that's too young to pick your nose? Is there an age that's too young to scratch an itch? Is there an age that's too young to sniff your armpit, see if it's a bit smelly? No. There is stink in there, my God. These are all parts of exploring our own body and our genitals are just another part of our body. In fact, 
Babies and toddlers often touch their own genitals because they notice that it feels really good. They don't realize that what they're doing is masturbating because they're too young to know that, but that is a form of masturbation. When you see a toddler or a baby rubbing its hands down around there, they're, that's what they're doing. They're going, mm, that feels good. I'm going to do more of that. Because we put so much shame around it, we can feel really bad about doing it. So first things first, I don't want you to feel bad about wondering about touching yourself and about touching yourself. And I want you to know now that whatever is the age you are that you're watching this, that is okay. Now, there is an age that's too young to let someone else touch your genitals. I am not here to tell you to let someone else touch your genitals before you feel comfortable and ready and before it is legal. Now I live in Australia, so over here uh, we have one age that it's legal to have sex. I think that age is 16. Don't quote me on that. And if you're watching this in another country like America, you might find that it's an older age that you're legally allowed to have sex. So you shouldn't have sex until it's legal and until you actually feel ready and comfortable. But as for touching your very own body in the privacy of your bedroom with the door closed or in the privacy of the bathroom with the door closed, you can do that anytime. Go for it. There's nothing wrong with what you're doing. There's no age that's too early to start. Now let's get into a few basics about it. So the part of your vulva that is going to make you feel really, really good and that you wanna get really familiar with is your clitoris. So the clitoris is like a little bump that you will feel at the very top of your vulva and it is actually located just above your urethra and the urethra is the hole that your pee comes out of. When you go to the toilet and you pee, that's your pee hole essentially. And beneath your urethra is your vaginal opening. So that's the opening to your vagina. Now your vagina is when you do have partnered sex, that's where you would put a partner's fingers or a partner's penis, if that's what you want to be having sex with. Oh, as if. Or you could put a vibrator or a dildo in there. Your vagina is also where you would put a tampon if you've got your period. Those are the three parts that you need to be familiar with. Some people do get worried that if they do want to explore putting their fingers in their vagina, that they might put them in the wrong hole and they might end up putting their fingers inside their urethra. I'm here to let you know your urethra is so, so, so tiny that it's actually not physically possible for you to put your fingers in there. So don't be worried that you're putting your fingers in the wrong hole. If you go too far back underneath your butt, like you go all the way back, you will eventually find your anus. That escalated quickly. That is where when you go to the toilet to do a number two, that is where poop comes out and you could maybe end up putting your fingers in your anus, but you'll know because you'll feel that your fingers are in between your butt cheeks. If your fingers are in between your butt cheeks, you've gone too far back. So just come a little further up. Also, if you do accidentally put your fingers inside your anus, do not touch your vulva after that. First, go to the bathroom and thoroughly wash your hands with soap. S salt? Don't do that. Wash your hands with soap because you can cross contaminate the area. So because obviously there can be fecal matter in and around the anus. If that gets into the vagina or it gets even around the opening of the urethra, which is your pee hole, it can cause an infection. So if you accidentally put your hand back there, which by the way, there's nothing with putting your hand back there and exploring if that's what you want to do. But if you do do that, just make sure you go and wash your hands before you touch your vagina or your clitoris. Now we're going to talk about the clitoris first and I do also want to say before you touch yourself in any way, always wash your hands. Wash your hands really, really thoroughly. You want them to be as clean as possible because you are more susceptible to getting an infection in and around your vulva just because it's it's a more sort of sensitive area of your body. So you always want to be going in with clean hands and if anyone else is touching you, they should definitely be having clean hands as well. The other thing you want to do is have really short trimmed nails like this. Actually, my nails are too short because I bite them and it's a very bad habit that I desperately need to stop. You don't want to be having sharp nails because you can accidentally scratch yourself and then you might end up bleeding. Um, which is not pleasant. And also if you get a little scratch or a tear, that can allow infection to get into your bloodstream, which is not a good thing. So just make sure that you've got trimmed back nails and nice clean hands. Feel around for that little bump that's the clitoris that's above your urethra. And that's the part that you're gonna concentrate on first. So I recommend using two fingers and just gently circling them around. See how small the circles are that I'm making? really small circles, not big ones like this, just really small. Another motion you can try is just back and forth. So sort of like this, back and forth, like a rocking kind of motion or the circles. I actually like to mix it up between the two. 
And the other thing that you should do when you are stimulating the clitoris with your fingers, doing either the circles or the back and forth or a combination, is make sure that you're not going in dry. Now the clitoris is thought to have around 8,000 nerve endings in it. There's so many nerves in there. So it's very, very sensitive, which is why it can make you feel really good and it can help you to have an orgasm. Because there are so many nerves in there, it can also be quite sensitive. So you don't wanna be touching it while it's dry. So what I would recommend doing is using a small amount of personal lubricant, something like KY Jelly um, or Astroglide. You can go and buy that from just the local supermarket or the drugstore and put a couple of drops on your finger. Now, if you are not at an age where you are able to go and do this. You can actually just use your own saliva as personal lubricant, very carefully spit onto your fingers and that will be lubricant that you can use. Explore just touching your clitoris for a while and enjoying how that feels and also try thinking about things that make you feel really good and sexy. And if this is your first time touching yourself, you might not know what those things are. So just explore, use your imagination. If you are not of legal age to be watching pornography, then just use your own mind. You can make up any scenario in your mind. Now, touching your clitoris for a while can lead to orgasm for a lot of people who have clitorises, but especially on your first time and even your second, third, fourth, and fifth time, it's probably not gonna lead to an orgasm because you need to give yourself time to get used to this new feeling and these new sensations. So don't think there's anything wrong with you and don't feel disappointed if you don't orgasm, just enjoy the nice feelings. And then the next part, which can be also really helpful to explore and can also feel really good is your vagina. So again, you can use two fingers, just a little bit lubricated with either some personal lubricant or some saliva and put them inside your vaginal opening. And you can feel around for your G-spot. So your G-spot is located about an inch and a half inside the vagina. If you make sort of a motion like you're telling someone to come, not like a big motion, but just very sort of small like that, that will help you find your G-spot because it's on the front wall of the vagina. So you're gonna press against it. You should feel an area that feels a bit sort of more soft and spongy and kind of wet than the rest of the vagina. The rest of the vagina will feel generally a bit more tight. And then you'll, when you press, you'll find this area that's it's sort of a bit more softer and spongier and there's a bit more sort of room there, that's your G-spot. And if you press on that, that can feel really, really nice. So have a go at pressing on that. And if you can, you can use two hands. So you can have one hand pressing on your G-spot and then have the other hand with a couple of lubricated fingers circling around on your clitoris. And so then you can have both the clitoris and the G-spot stimulation. So most people with vaginas will usually reach orgasm through clitoral stimulation. About a third of people with vaginas can reach orgasm through having their G-spot stimulated. And most people with vaginas can reach orgasm by having the two stimulated at the same time. But again, don't put any pressure on yourself to orgasm straight away. Now, I don't want this video to be super long and I also have tons of other videos that I've made on this topic, which I will link um, down below in the description. So I'm going to finish up here, but if you do have any questions about solo sex or about trying solo sex for the first time, then you can ask them in the comment section down below. Please be respectful in the comments. This is supposed to be a safe, sex positive place for everyone. So let's all be nice to each other. If you happen to be a boy or a, a, a man who is watching this, there is nothing wrong with watching this video, whoever you are, whatever age you're at but please be respectful in the comments and let's especially make young people who are watching this and young vulva owners who are watching this feel safe by definitely not saying anything creepy in the comments, guys. If you say anything creepy in the comments, you will be immediately blocked and banned. So just don't even think about it. And if you're new here and you got something out of this video, then subscribe to this channel because I make lots more sex education videos on masturbation and sex and oral sex and orgasm and all those sorts of fun things, which we just don't really learn about at school. And so my channel is here to fill the gaps. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like more content like this, give it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you want more of this kind of content. And I'll hopefully all see you all in the next video.